Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I've got a big announcement for you today, which is basically that I've just written a book and it's called Performing Electronic Music Live. So I'm super excited because my book is going to come out this winter with the UK publisher Routledge. And if you want to find out more about it, I will link it down below in the description. But the reason I wanted to make this video today is because I've also created a whole bunch of tutorial videos that are going to accompany the book and I'm going to upload them to this channel here. So if you're here, if you've been subscribed for a while, thank you so much. Um, I assume you've been watching kind of like the music videos, the songs that I've been uploading and all of that stuff isn't going to go anywhere. I'm going to keep doing that. Uh, but in addition, there's also going to be these tutorial videos as well. If you're new here, welcome, nice to meet you. My name is Kirsten, I'm an audiovisual artist under the name Naoki and I love to produce electronic pop music. Um, I love working with these hardware synths and I also love to integrate uh, sort of retro games console sounds into my music. I'm also a university lecturer in music production as well. Uh, essentially, I love all things music production. Uh, so what happened to me a few years ago is that I'm sitting in the studio, I'm creating, you know, all my tracks, I'm layering all my instruments and I start to think about what if I actually want to perform this stuff live, you know, nowadays I perform quite a lot so uh, I love doing it but, you know, at the beginning I was kind of unsure where to start uh, and this is where a specific challenge comes in associated with electronic music. There's a lot of producers that work on their own, a lot of solo artists producing electronic music. Uh, and what they'll do is they'll sit in the studio, they'll layer the sounds, they'll put in maybe a bass sound, some drums, maybe some vocals. And they'll create, you know, this awesome sounding production. But it's not something that you can recreate kind of like one to one when you go on stage. So as you're performing it you have to sort of like rethink your track you might have to take it apart put it back together uh, so it's like another step where you have to think about you know what actually can you do in playing this live um, so i became really interested in kind of how you can perform electronic music live and i've since figured out my own way of doing it uh, but i'm also really interested in all the other ways that you can do it and that's why i wrote this book uh, so each of my chapters is going to break down a different approach um, and it's going to include, you know, you've probably heard about DJing, you know, where you've got your DJ deck, you've got your two tracks, you're blending them together, you've got your effects. Maybe if you're a producer, you're into creating your own music. You may have heard of Ableton Live, where you work with Ableton and some MIDI controllers. Uh, but it also gets a lot more experimental than that. For example, there's a practice called live coding, where basically the musician stands on stage and writes code, and this code then creates sound in the moment, which I find really fascinating. Um, some musicians even build their own hardware instruments from scratch. So there's a lot of different things that you can do. What I love to do is I love to work with visuals. But yeah, obviously there's lots of different genres of electronic music. There's EDM, there's you know, there's neoclassical electronic music, there's electronic pop, electronic jazz, ambient music, more experimental music, more commercial music. And each of these different genres kind of calls for a different performance approach. You know, it's always up to the artist and you know, how you want to express yourself, but it's like another conceptual step. Uh, and that's basically what I want to explore in these upcoming tutorial videos. Uh, so if that's something that you're interested in and you're not subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing to my channel and also press the bell so you get the notifications. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Oh, before I forget, I'm going to start uploading these videos from next week or so. So I think in a week from now, you're going to see the first tutorial video. And so I will see you then. So again, thanks for watching and bye.